In this video, let us look into the question, what is a set? All right, here is an explanation for what is a set. A set is anything that consists of a collection of specific things. For example, we have the collection of vowels in English alphabets. That is A, E, I, O, and U. That is very specific. And another example can be the collection of all states in the Indian Union. We have a specific number of states, right? We do not have any vague number of states. We know these are the number of states that we have in our country. We also have another example, which is the collection of the first five prime natural numbers. It is pretty specific. It's just first five prime natural numbers, which are 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11, right? It's nothing else apart from this. So, while these can be good examples of what is a set, I will also give you a couple of examples for what cannot be a set to give you a clear understanding of what is a set. Alright, here we have an example of what cannot be a set. A collection of good hockey players in India. I mean, what do you mean by saying just good hockey players in India? Who's good and who's bad? How do you define good and how do you define bad? So, it's, it's, it's clearly not very definitive. It's very vague. For me, you know, somebody may be good, somebody may be bad, but for somebody else, you know, the person who's bad for me may be good to them and the person who's good to them may be bad for them. So it's not, it's not very definitive and it's not very specific. So this cannot be a set. This is very vague. Another example can be the collection of the most talented writers of the world. That's again, not very specific. It's very vague. It is a very subjective thing, you know, which differs from people to people. And you cannot be really, you know, like definitive. Okay, he is a talented writer. He is not a talented writer. No, you cannot. Anybody can be a talented writer according to anybody. So these things cannot be a set. I hope you by now would have got a clear understanding of what can be a set and what cannot be a set. So this is what it is. So that ends this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more concepts based on sets. Thank you.